Well, good evening, folks, and welcome back to another video. It's another evening ride out. Um, Midweek, Wednesday evening, August. I think it's the 9th. No, it's not the 19th. 16th, 16th of August. And we're off. Uh, there's a few of us going tonight, I think. Paul's arranged a ride out, hence the reason for the B line being on here. And I think we're off down to uh, to Lentwood Iron over in Shropshire. And uh, Lentwood Iron, for those of you that don't know, it's famous for where. Um, John Chalice, or Boise from Only Fools and Horses, lived. He bought an old abbey there, um, uh, Wigmore Abbey, and uh, I don't think that's where we're going, but we're going nearby. Uh, and he bought that in oh, late nineties, I think. And he, uh, him and his wife, um, restored it. Uh, of course, he died recently. I think it was last year he died, and uh, it was up for sale in January. So um, that'll be going to a new owner, and uh, he was a well-known sort of figure around the Ludlow sort of uh, Bishop's Castle, Lentwood Dine area, and uh, we're going over there. So tonight's video is possibly going to be called "Only Fools and Fish and Chips." Because we're going to have fish and chips by the river, or some of us are. Fish and chips by the river in Lentwood Dine. Uh, and it's blooming lovely. It's, uh, I've, I've, I've put the mesh jacket on. Because uh, I was thinking of putting my, uh, my normal jacket on. And I thought, no, you're going to cook in this weather. So I've, I've, I've gone for the mesh jacket. Um, Oh, one of the things to update you on, um, Blair Review mentioned it today, is that uh, we were chatting about his, uh, his video that he did in Switzerland, and he asked me the question when, when uh, our Switzerland video is going to be coming out. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm holding them back, uh, two reasons, a lot of editing to do, and I want to get these ride out videos in throughout the summer. So our plan is to release them, or yeah, upload them and release them, whatever it is we do. I'm going to be doing that uh, in the uh, autumn and uh, and winter. So they'll be coming out, I imagine probably they'll start coming out late September, early October. And then I'll, uh, I'll release probably one a week then. Um, so they, they are being done. I'm pretty pleased with the ones I've done so far. It's just me and Paul, as you know, little Paul. Um, it's just the two of us. I'm releasing the odd short now and again as well, just to keep the, uh, you know, just little snippets of what we uh, what we experienced. And uh, as I say, they'll be coming out uh, through the autumn and into the winter, and that'll include the sky ones as well. So stick around um, with the channel, and hopefully you'll uh, you'll see those come out. I think you'll enjoy them. Just the scenery, if nothing else, the scenery is amazing. Go on, Paul, it's over. all yours, mate. G'day, all yours, Paul. Right then, this evening we are going to Lethladine, if I've got it pronounced right, correct me if I'm wrong, and we're going to the Fiddler's Elbow Chip Shop, which is the other, it's the other side of Ludlow. And we are going now through to a little village called Churchill, we're going to go through to Udley, we're going to go through Buttonhook, turn left and go into Cleebury Mortimer, which will then take us over Clee Hill to the bypass in Ludlow, where we will turn right, turn right Shrewsbury, and then we will turn left for night and just by a lovely place called Ludlow Food Centre, which is a good place to get food of all different types, local produce. Follow that road all the way down there to Lethladion, where there is this chip shop, and there's a lovely backdrop of a village green with sitting benches, a stream, or a river rather going through it, so you can sit there and relax. So that's going to be quite pleasant this evening. Uh, and then well, I'll tell you what we're doing when we're coming back as well. But um, that's our journey once we get out of Hagley and into a bit of countryside. And who we got with us tonight? There's you. 
Hey. On your BMW. Oh, on your BMW R90 Scrambler. Yep. We got Mr. Fantic, aka Rob. Uh, yep. Who uh, can't can't hear us at the moment. No, he's he's, he going into he's not intercommed up, but he's on his Fantic Caballero. Uh, and then there's Paul. There right he there, is, guys, David. Sorry. Everybody knows Paul. And then he, then we got. Uh, Joe. Joe on Rebel Red. Rebel Red the Stripper. Oh, oh, oh. Rebel yeah. Red the Stripper. Rebel Red the Stripper. So ladies, if you need Rebel Red, he's available. Um, he's available. He do well. He does do. Uh, he does do. Oh bloody hell! He does I do. do yeah, yeah. I do. I do hen nights. He does hen nights. He does stag nights as well. If you if you're that way inclined, but that's another story. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, what else have we got? And then you got me on when I'm on this on the CCM. Oh, before we turn the camera on, we were discussing uh, we were discussing who are uh, which one of the uh, the uh, oh crikey, my mind's gone. Which one of the wild hogs each of us are? And we we agreed that uh, Big Paul is definitely played by John Travolta. Uh, I don't mind that, that's fair enough. He's happy with that. We, who was the next yeah. one? Who are you, Paul? You're the other Which one were you? Ah, me? Yeah, you. I'm not all big. Can you go with her at the shop? <laughs> the one that the crashes. The one that does the the crashes that a lot. He crashes a lot, now it has me. Right. He's the dentist. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, oh. I. No. Which, which oh, one? Oh, computer nerd, he is a computer that's guy. That's it, that's it. Which one Tim, are you? Which one Tim are you? Allen, Tim Allen, the dentist. I'm the uh, orthodontist, Eddie. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah. Tim, Tim, yeah. Allen. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Tim Allen played by Joe. Uh, that leaves <laughs> that, that leaves the other one who uh, name I can't remember. You're the you're the coloured guy then. That's, that's it. Um, that's it. Guy. We oh. got a problem here. We got Ray a problem Breeden. here. Ray Breton by his wife. Oh, that's all right. And then we, uh, that leaves us one other main character, and that's the, uh, the gay copper. Ray Lolito. Ray Lolito or the gay copper. The gay copper. Ray Lolito was the, yeah. the gang leader, or you've got the gay copper. So Rob's... Well, gay copper, yeah. we said, Mr. McCoy. Yeah. The gay copper is Mr. McCoy. That's it, because he hasn't Mr. turned McCoy. up. He hasn't turned up, so he's going to be the gay copper. Uh, yeah. Then that just leaves Rob well, as the other one, doesn't he? Ray he's Lolito. the, uh, Yep, the gangster uh, leader. That's it, the gangster. Don't you forget, have... you've also got the guy that's the actual leader who oh. makes sudden appearances to put them all right. right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Rob could be the girl that Paul is having a thing with. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got to be inclusive in this world today, you know, it's 2023. <laughs> You've oh. said that, and I can see Paul is eyeing up the back of Rob's bike at this moment. Oh, that's what right. right, then. Oh, he likes his, Paul ah. likes his rear entry. He's, he's, he's seen that twin exhaust, mate, and he's turning yep. it on. I'm going to see which one I fit in. <laughs> <laughs> we're turning yeah. left, are you? Turning left. Okay. There you go. So <laughs> there's, uh, there's our wild hog uh, counterparts for Excursion, you. Excursion, yeah. I had a lovely, I've had from our tea tonight because I couldn't be bothered for fish and chips. I've had a Charlie Bigham's pot, uh, mushroom chicken pie. And you get a little ramekin pot, you get two of them, and I've had one tonight with some uh, garden beans chopped that have been in the oven all day on top. Lovely. Puff pastry as well that's bursting over the top. Absolutely wonderful. It's like bringing Ainsley, oh. it's like having Ainsley Helios told... with us in it. And I told the woman when I was leaving this doctor's I'm doing for, I said I'm taking I'm taking the elderly out again tonight, the over 60s. <laughs> I said so I'm taking them on an excursion. And I went, oh that's lovely. I says well a lot of most of them. I says I don't know how to get out the front door. I says so I take them out, <laughs> just so as they can uh, take them somewhere different. You see, so says because they don't get chance to get they don't get chance to get out. <laughs> and I thought it was really nice. And I thought I'm telling the truth. <laughs> so yeah. there you are, the over 60s. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
thought I had my uh, testicle removed. You come in, mate. I thought, God, I hope I don't get a lot on that. It would be embarrassing. And um, they just shaved me, talcum powder. Bloody head, man. You know what you're doing, man. Uh, <laughs> and then, when I come out of the operation, all I got was a big, like, seven-inch scar in my stomach, where they must have put their hand in and picked the right one out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, wish I'd have, I always wish I'd have had it and said, can I keep it? Because it'd be like a big tadpole. <laughs> but I never did at the time. Oh, no, it was a shame. A talking point, wouldn't it? Would you like to all come and see and me testicle? Yeah. yeah. All big black and cancerous thing, all there, uh, flipping dangling like one of them sickies lava lights. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put it on put it on a nice gold chain round your neck. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I'd have had his on. Yeah, goldy looking oh, yeah, testicle. Yeah, yeah. Brian's got a dinner lot I did. I went in on the Wednesday, they took my testicle out on the Wednesday night. I come yeah. out on the Friday and started showing everybody me, me uh me everything that had been shaved and scarred and everything. We're gonna double back on ourselves now, guys, if you don't if you get yeah. stuck. Oh, it's a pothole. Oh, it's a pothole. Oh, it's okay. I thought it's okay. We've got a right hand there at the end of this. Everybody coming what? round? Yeah. You all right, yeah, Joe? Round. Round. Yeah. Everybody round. Everybody round. Go, go, go. So this go, road go, go. is this road is six miles long now. And a beeline. The beeline was telling me to carry straight on then. Was he? <laughs> yeah, for another six miles. That's weird. That is. Yeah, but have you, have you got? I've got this on the front route. Yeah, I've got one. I've just put the matting map in the Paul sent me, and that's it. But it never, oh, that's what I've got. It never matches yeah, yeah, yeah. in for some reason. Yeah. Hey, how much do you reckon Boyce's house was so, uh, was on the market for Wigmore hey. Wigmore Manor? How much do you reckon uh, it was on the market for? One point one point five million pounds. What's that? His house, boys, his house. Ah. I thought it would have been loads more than that, but it's like Paul said, Shropshire prices are not that high. I thought to leave that here. Well, if you'd got 1.5 million, you could have bought Boyce's Manor. It's the place no, no, that no. he used to film the, the, a, uh, the what's, what was it called? About, uh, the Green Green Grass. 250,000 pounds short. Ah, uh, not far then. Thank God for trees, Dave. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Lovely, 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 lovely. Can't see a thing. Got 
the drop of their visor in that helmet, Dave. Yeah. with these uh, reactor light things. Nah. When the sun's too slow, right. it's not like you can do no matter what you wear. Nah. Well, I can't see the bloody bins coming up here. Your indicator, mate. Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers, chap. Indicator, Paul. <laughs> indicator. Indicator. <laughs> I'm the little parrot on his shoulder, and he's the parrot on your shoulder. I know. On the back up. Back up, parrot. Indicator. Indicator, boys. Yeah, there's a local pub. We'll be turning left here now in a minute. Just here. We're going to turn left and we're going to pull it hopefully on the right. Hopefully, he says. Oh, fashion in a way. We can pull in here or we'll park it in reverse to get it in. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Hold on. Set up a car in a minute. There's much room we got there. I don't think we'll get a. Well, I won't get mine in. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, get a in there. <laughs> that was a lot of fucks. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till I get back, Holly. Holy, holy fucking back, I'm holy. Oh, these beautiful bikes. Marvellous. Oh, I've given them a kid in there. Simply lovely. Well, I've been stuck on my own life. It was terrible. Put a girl in a tree. Put a girl in a tree. Put her in a tree. Put her in a tree. All the toppers are on the floor. Put her in a tree. Oh, are you telling me about that? Pinched your toffees. Down towards Lane, you know. Pinched your toffees. Who do? Bloke, I never know his name. I don't know his name. Yeah, super funny. Pocky things. There's no respect, is there? No. No respect for people, toppies. Have I ever done this? No, road? I haven't seen that. I have one now. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just I'll oh. look at him now. He's a longer, isn't he? Than Paul's were. Actually, are they? Got bigger takers. They're a bit brown, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. We had some nice things the other night. Great Yanton is it up by Goysborough, up by Red Car. Mm. It was up there, and um, it made me laugh. Of course, I was looking in the chip shop, and he says, This old bloke says, You must try some, dear, you must try some. I said, Oh, no, I said, Oh, you go on, come on. You dragged her in the fish shop. He said, I'll get him if you ain't got no money. <laughs> said, no, no, I'm all right. And they had some fish, and they get all the scratching bits. Old bloke, he says, Well, how old was he? Oh, he says, I think he was in the 60s. He says, Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm the old man of the group anyway. I can't believe I'm the youngest. I'm the babby of the yeah, group, I am. Yeah. I am babby. The granddad. Oh dear, he's collecting his bikes, are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite nice, that would he's learned to do. I bet he thinks I've ripped him off with that helmet now. Now you've told him he's got to change it. I've told him. Well, I don't realise how old it was, because I did say, I did stick up for him and say, he didn't wear it very often, he says, because he's always buying helmets. He says it's something he ain't used much. He's just 13 you, years how old. How much did you pay for him? I don't know how much you ripped him off for. 50 quid? Or <laughs> I, bet it was, I bet it was only about 50 quid. Well, it could have been 50 quid. I'll put him in the, the skip. I have. I think I've got the bargain. Yeah. <laughs> 50, I think it was only 50 quid. Right? Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, but that, that's too much, really. You should say, feel guilty. I'll give it in bet. £10. Pound. I'll give it in bet. <laughs> that's a uh, four match 24 hours mile and yard. So I've got mine here. I'm like an old man, you know, that's to work it before you make any sudden movements. You have to plan everything. You've got to work it out, haven't you? Hang on, if I do that a bit too quick, I'll dislocate a hip. You anticipate pain. That's what it is, you anticipate pain. I've got all my journeys here, saved, so we did it. Saucy Mary. Saucy Mary's. Pardon viewers. Save Rue. Save Rue, put a name to it. Upset the waitress, him. Keep night. Upset the waitress. Did they? Yeah, I did. How I did, ah. You did, did yeah, I? Exactly. This Scottish Wentz Welsh girl. Oh. We seen her in the morning playing Jane, just, just normal. And I went in in the evening, didn't I? Yeah. I says, where's the other girl? Where's the Welsh, Welsh girl? girl? Says, I'm the only Welsh girl. I said, no, it's the Welsh girl of the morning. Because she's going on, there's nobody else. She went, I've got no makeup on. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> it. We've got it. One hour, miles. 42 minutes, 54 oh, miles. miles. Two. Okay, I'm 56 months. Yeah, I'm sure you want an end for you. That's going back to the shop on Monday, then. Back <laughs> to the shop on Monday. Got to get to Langley shop. Yeah. Well, there's a few, there's a, somebody stole my horsepower. <laughs> yeah, so it brings you back out into sort of on the A road towards uh, Craven Arms. You should do it every uh. Sunday. 120 more circuit, lovely place. Uh, yes, pleasant pitch found here. Rather splendiferous. Are you ready, Dave? Is he there? I'm here, I'm here. Okay, should we go? Where is it? Yeah, yes, is it? He's just pulling out. He's just, just coming. Oh, that's a coming, boy. Okay. Off we go. Here we go, then, guys. Right, over to you Paul, what are you going to tell us about the journey back? Hey, <coughs> the journey back is... Um, oh, cracker! We're going to head... I think where, we, where the roads are now. We're going to head up, and basically we're going to head back the side of sort of... Um, oh, what's the name of the place? I can't think of the name oh, of the big place now. It's just called Old Age, that is lads. Old Age. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We're going to end up towards Tembril, the A458. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. We'll get on to that. We'll through. We'll carry on towards that until we get into Great Italy. Then we'll turn left for Stourport. Uh, we'll follow through over the bridge in Stourport. Through Hartlebury. Uh, through to Mustard Green. Back through to Hadley and back home. So it's a total of about 54 miles and about an hour and three quarters. Excellent. So it's just over a hundred mile round trip then. Hundred mile, forty-four mile going and fifty-four coming back. So a pleasant ride. These are nice little sort of uh, sort of B roads at the moment. We're doing probably about 10, 15 mile of these before the um, the A458. Uh, yeah. Back towards Worcester. So pleasant. Yes. Perfect. That's at the place that we're going through where we hit the junction, can't think what it is, but on the, on the journey you'll see anyway, you'll see where it is. Excellent. Nice, nice chip shop, nice food, beautiful backdrop, um, yeah, lovely yeah. snuffy weir, the water, so yeah. well worth the ride out to do. Carping back to the night of the safari, my lions never did make it onto the, uh, okay. the journey. Okay, right, you're right, right now. Clearly this is bugging you, Joe, so what we're going to do, when the next time we have a ride out, we're going to come on mass to your house <laughs> and have a Fantastic. picture and uh, capture the lions and then get it online, get Fantastic. it on the, on the channel. Leave him, get a, leave him make it a cup of tea. That's it. Hear that in your Paul? Hey. We've got to go and do the lions. Well, we could have, a, we could have fish and chips there while we max the company or a bacon sandwich. <laughs> do you a bacon sandwich? I can do your fish and chips, or I can manage a bacon butter. Well, we can all have our ride out and come back.
back to Joe's for something to eat. Okay. So one of the you wanted a theme, Paul, when we were chatting last time. The next theme yep. is Joe's Lions. Yep. You know, like the Queen Mother was no maiden name was Bo's Lion. This is uh, Joe's Bo's. Lion. Oh, just uh, the boys have just veered off. Rob's got a bit of a journey to do to get back up to uh, also Bentley where he lives oh, he's, I think he's jumped on the motorway uh, two poles have just veered off and headed home I'll, I'll be home in 10 minutes maximum now um, yeah again something slightly different somewhere nice I think the roads out to Lentwardine lovely what the hell are you doing? And there is a perfect example of what we're up against. Yeah. CCM has been fun tonight. Sounding marvellous. I'm sure the neighbours are going to be too impressed when I arrive back on the drive with it, in the close with it. But, uh, We'd, uh, we turn the engine off pretty quickly. Oh blimey, you stuck around for the video. Hope you enjoyed it, as always. Um, hopefully uh, you'll uh, be great if you could drop a comment or two. Uh, tell me your thoughts, uh, suggestions, ideas. If, again, if there's something you'd like us to have a go at doing, let us know, somewhere you'd want to see. Uh, well, you know, suggest it, and if we can do it, we will. Uh, themes for an evening ride out. Um, yeah, anything like that. If, please feel free to comment away. Tell us your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the bikes. Uh, do we make you laugh? Are we just idiots? <laughs> Uh, hopefully we make you laugh, because that would be good if we do, because that's what we want to try and do. We laugh at ourselves and, uh, and hopefully cheer other people up, yourselves up, while you laughing at us. We're not, we're not precious about being laughed at. Uh, so on that note, uh, I will say thank you very much for lending us your time. Uh, appreciate you all our busy lives, and if you have watch the video, you've lent us all your time, that's, you know, really kind of you and generous of you, and uh, really do appreciate it, and uh, we shall see you again soon, for another video, so, as we say round here, arrivederci, and a lot of it.